I'm Rabbi Brad Hirschfield. I'm the president of CLAL, the National Jewish Center for Learning and Leadership. I guess the most important thing to bear in mind is that Islamic terror is real, and so is Islamophobia. And the notion that being tough on the first in any way necessitates or excuses the second is outrageous. So what is Islamophobia? Really, it's just another subset of any kind of racism, and I guess the real definition there is when you find yourself hating a group of people or an individual person, not because of what they do, but simply because they are. And the way you know that's going on is when you see one of them, or you think you see one of them, because after all, what does it even mean to look Muslim? When you've got a community that reaches around the globe and can be brown and black and white and from Africa and Asia and America and everywhere else in between. But be that as it may, when you see one of those people you don't like, you have to ask yourself, has that person done anything to me? Have they actually done anything to me? Have they done anything to anyone that I actually know about? And if the answer is no and you still find yourself feeling a little hostile inside, whether you think that's Islamophobia or not, it is. Whether you think that's racist or not, it is. Because at the end of the day, when you find yourself confusing one person with an entire group, that's Islamophobia. And it violates a fundamental teaching, at least in the way I understand what it means to be Jewish. We're told all people are created in the image of God. And the rabbis and the mission understand that to mean, among other things, that all people are unique, which means the contrary to the most sacred, if you can call it that, beliefs of racists. When you've seen one, you haven't seen them all. And so the corrective to Islamophobia is when you see a person who happens to be Muslim, don't see Islam. See a person who happens to be Muslim.